Hello YouTube, uh, today we're going to show you how we can make a very nice looking incubator uh, for a reasonable price. Um, you could buy incubator um, ready made uh, that are kind of this size. This is about um, 15 uh, cubic liter or 15 liter um, and you can buy this kind of size for about 150 to 300 dollars depending where you buy it and i wanted to see if i can make it you know a little more um uh, with a less price so what we ended up doing is uh, buying two things first is this fridge this is actually a wine cooler with a clear glass door um and this one is from igloo but you're gonna you know you can buy any fridge or wine cooler that is not using compressor for cooling so just you know check the back of the fridge and see if there's no compressor it should be lightweight if there's no compressor that's another kind of telltale sign but you want a fridge that's working from uh, bimetal cooling technology um, a lot of time those wine cooler will say hey it will work in the car as well with the 12 volt and if that says 12 volt then you know it's a bimetal technology otherwise you have to open the back of the fridge and ask the owner by the way i bought it from craigslist that's what i'm saying if you go buy in a in a store it's going to be probably very expensive but I've, I've i've noticed that a lot of these wine coolers people don't want them and they just want to get rid of them on craigslist and they sell it for really cheap i mean i got this for like 30 dollar uh, the other thing we're gonna you need is uh, some sort of external temperature controller like this one I have here um, I bought this on Amazon for about $30 and um, You could buy any number of these kind of things, but this is what I like it It had a, a nice a temperature probe. That's kind of not hardwired and it's got a little jack here So I picked that one, but let's get started what you want to do is fairly simple process all you have to do is kind of <clears throat> open the the back of the fridge and um, I have everything opened up and powered off but your goal is to find um, you so okay by the way so you should be you should notice something like this with a little fan like little heat sink right here and this is our bimetal cooling um, device and the way it works it has um, by the junction of two metals and if you if you pass current through it in one direction this side cools and the other side heats but if you reverse the current this side heats and the other side gets cool so that's what our goal is we're gonna uh, you're gonna have to find a two wire in this case this red and black wire that goes into this cooling um, kind of block and all you have to do is just uh, disconnect those two wires in my case, they're like, uh, they're, this is kind of pin, so I can just simply yank them out. If you have a board where they have a hardwired connection or soldered connection, you might have to desolder it or cut it, cut it off or something like that. Uh, but remove them, make sure the voltages are correct, like anywhere from 3 to 12 volt while this thing is running. Right now it's off. I know these are the wire, but you might want to double check. Um, but the, all you want to do is just remove them and switch their direction. So the, the red, the black goes where the red was going before and the red will go to the disconnector where the black was. And that's, that's all you have to do is just switch the connectors. Black goes to red, the red goes to black, and you're done, right? So all you did is basically turn this fridge into a heater now, okay? Uh, and because it's a fridge, their control board is going to want to cool the inside. And ours will never cool anymore because we just switched the connection. So you want to um, put your own control um, board. And it's easier to use something external than hacking around with this internal board. And it's just a lot more work. Um, but all you want to do is get um, buy this thing. And it will have this kind of white wire, uh, which is a temperature probe, non-NTP. And you drill a little hole in the back of the fridge and pass that probe uh, through back and into the 
the body of the fridge and this is how the front of the probe looks like right and you want to just leave it hanging inside and um, and then connect the power of the fridge to the controller's output and the controller's input um, cord will go in the wall socket and this this is the interface where you can program the high and low temperature I program it with one degree Fahrenheit difference so it doesn't keep turning on and on every every couple of seconds um, but if I have one degree high and low difference then this thing will turn on every 40 uh, one and a half minute in my case I timed it um, but it's just simply a, an on off controller so it turns on when the, the low temperature is hit it turns off when high temperature is uh, reached and it just keeps doing it and it maintains the temperature very very precisely um, uh, because of the small volume and, and uh, the external controller so with that you you will have a very nice functioning incubator that that doesn't look like ugly hell uh, looks nice and works just as as good as the other commercial um, incubator so this is the way I do it um, if you find this video useful please subscribe uh, my channel has all kind of DIY stuff um, and um, hobby stuff so thanks for watching and have a good day thanks